dear students today we are going to see about organic farming and its implementation in environmental issues organic farming is a method of farming system by the use of organic waste organic waste of crops that is crop waste animal waste farm waste and aquatic waste to keep the soil alive and good health that means that will maintain the soil fertility soil fertility will be increased due to the use of organic waste crop waste animal waste farming waste aquatic waste etc other biological materials with beneficial microbes that is biofertilizers are also used in agriculture for increased sustainable production in an eco-friendly pollution free environment so that is the organic farming without using chemical fertilizers chemical pesticide when we are using the plant waste animal waste etc to increase the soil fertility that is the organic farming g namalwar g namalwar was an indian agricultural scientist environmental activist supporter and expert of organic farming He was best known for his work on spreading ecological farming and organic farming. He was born in 6th April 1938 in Elangadu of Tanju district. He was against the use of chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides. He trained hundred of uh, farmers in natural farming he was the author of several tamil and english books on natural farming he founded the namalwar ecological foundation to form research and global food security trust or simply vanagam at karur district of tamil nadu he developed a social forest at amman amman kurai amman kurai and the kolunji ecological farm in pudukkote district he along with his friends made a uh, 10 acres barren land into fertile cultivable land in the dry pudukkote district he planted 52 varieties of trees on the same waste land extending in 20 acres his organization kudumbam preserves and regenerates hundreds of native flora and fauna in order to ensure a suitable livelihood so that is about g namalwar solid waste management now we are going to see about solid waste management every day solid waste management 
every day tons of solid waste are disposed of at landfill sites these waste comes from homes offices industries and other agricultural related activities these solid waste landfill sites produce foul smell if these waste these wastes are not stored and treated properly when hazardous waste like pesticides batteries containing lead cadmium mercury or zinc cleaning solvents radioactive materials e waste and plastics are mixed up with paper and other scraps and burnt they produce toxic gases such as dioxins which are very toxic and carcinogenic carcinogenic means cancer causing substance the dioxin dioxins is a, a very toxic gas and that will cause cancer these uh, pollute the surrounding air ground water and can seriously affect the health of humans solid waste management includes the collection transport treatment and disposal of waste together with monitoring and regulation of the waste management process these process collectively will change the solid waste into valuable resources so that is the solid waste management case study now we'll see about the case study the corporation of chennai looks after clearance and management of solid waste in chennai every day around 5400 metric ton of garbage is collected from the city door to door collection of garbage is done in most zones apart from sweeping collecting and storing the waste in the specified dust dust bin in the specified dust bin at present garbage generated in chennai at present garbage generated in chennai is dumped of two sites number 1 kodungayur kodungayur site and number 2 perungudi site proposals of this uh, remediation of the existing landfill or scientific closer and to have integrated waste processing facilities with waste to energy plants as one of the components so that is about the case study of garbage disposal so today we have seen about the organic farming and its implementation about g namarva the importance of g namarva solid waste management and case study about the disposal of garbage etc thank you